The Story of Josiah Gilbert, Part 2. However, the new year of 1916 proved catastrophic for the Gilbert family, as indeed it did for many other families and individuals in Loughborough. At around 8pm on the night of January the 31st, 1916, a low rumble could be heard in the distance, which became louder and louder until it reached its height over the town of Loughborough. Although there had been some degree of warning, and the local police had sent word around that all lights were to be extinguished, Zeppelin L-20, which was ultimately heading for Liverpool, found its first target of Sheffield, or so the captain thought. Zeppelins are notoriously difficult to navigate, and given the weather conditions and a troublesome engine, L-20 had actually only reached Loughborough, having been completely unaware of the larger town of Leicester, whose lights had been extinguished. Attracted by lights that were still shining in Loughborough, L-20 dropped its first bomb close to the Technical Institute, which actually fell in the yard of the nearby Crown and Cushing pub, causing the death of Mrs Martha Shipman. The second bomb fell on the rushes, causing complete havoc, and the death of William Adcock, Joe and Alice Adkin, and Ethel Higgs. Making its way from the centre of the town towards the canal, and attracted by the bright lights shining through the glass roof of a factory that had only recently benefited from electric lighting, the next bomb dropped, landed in an orchard on Thomas Street, thankfully killing no one. The final bomb, dropped by Zeppelin L-20, fell closer to the factory, and shrapnel flew into a nearby shop, killing, amongst others, the proprietor. Leaving Loughborough townsfolk shocked and scared, and considering its job of bombing Sheffield done, the airship departed, heading to Liverpool. However, it actually bombed Burton-on-Trent next. In Loughborough, the Herbert Morris factory on Empress Road, lying close to the canal, had been the target of the fourth bomb that dropped, killing Mary Ann Page, her son Joseph and daughter Elsie, and Arthur Christian Turnell. Shrapnel Marks at Empress Road In the attack on Loughborough by Zeppelin L-20, 10 people were killed, 12 people badly injured, and many more suffered minor injuries. The Centenary Memorial on the Rushes Josiah Gilbert, aged 49, was the shopkeeper who was killed by flying shrapnel on Empress Road dying in the arms of his 14-year-old son, William. Josiah's distraught family posted a piece in the local newspaper, the Loughborough Echo, in February 1916, thanking all their kind friends for their sympathy. Sarah and son William posted further memorials to Josiah on the anniversary of his death in 1917, 1918 and 1919. Between 1920 and 1923, Sarah was registered as living at number 65, Cumberland Road, Loughborough. Around 1924, Sarah and William moved to number 17, Stora Road, where they both continued to live until Sarah's death in 1942. Number 17, Stora Road, Loughborough. William stayed in the Stora Road property until around 1965 when he went to live at No. 1 Beaufort Avenue, Loughborough, where he remained until his death. On the 31st of January 1970, William Hansley Josiah Gilbert died. This was the 54th anniversary of the death of his father, Josiah Gilbert, on the night of the Zeppelin attack on Loughborough.